In this video, what I'm going to be talking about is ionization energy. And if we were to consider an atom, so maybe a oxygen atom or something, so oxygen atom. I won't draw it as much, just draw an equation. So if you were to consider um, an oxygen atom and we wanted to strip an electron off this oxygen atom, what this what this oxygen atom would become if we then caused it to go from being an oxygen atom to an oxygen one plus ion and an electron. I have to put this electron since we did challenge charges needs to balance. If we were to do this to an oxygen atom, we would call this process ionization. Ionization. And this process which happens um, Usually, this process uh, is initiated in when these when whatever atom or molecule is in the gaseous state. So I'm going to put a state symbol in here, and the state symbol for gaseous is a G. So G. So this means that the oxygen is a gas when this happens, and the oxygen ion is a gas when this when it's produced. And the, with, in order to cause this to happen, this is an endothermic process. And endothermic means that energy is taken in. So we need to, and I'll draw this in like orange or something. Orange. So we need to put energy into that oxygen atom to make it um, ionized, to make the elect, to free the electron. Because if you were to picture an atom, the, there's a force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron, the outermost electron. And that force must be overcome. And the way we overcome that force is using energy. And this is a type of energy which causes ionization. And so because of that, we call it ionization energy. Ionization energy. And you may be thinking, hey, 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 wait, wait a second. I know oxygen is usually a gas. And yeah, that makes sense. Oxygen is usually a gas. But why are we ionizing it in the gaseous state anyway? Why don't we ionize um, liquid oxygen or solid oxygen? Or, you know, why don't we do it when it's in a solid state? Uh, the main reason why we don't do it often in the solid or liquid state is, is simply because it's much easier to do it in the gaseous state. There's a, there's a lot of technology which we can use to actually cause this to be ionized in the gaseous state. And it's easier to measure the energy which we put in as well. So the, tradi the tra traditional definition for this process, this ionization process. And, and I just want to say when this gets ionized, the process of it becoming ionized is known as ionization. And I'll just write this down. Ionization. And the tradi traditional definition for this process um, is that the, the um, actually the process which I'm talking about is this particular type of ionization. And this particular type is when an atom uh, loses one electron, only one not two or three or four, but only one electron. So right now what I'm talking about is the first ionization energy. Uh, there are different types of ionization energy. There's second ionization energy. So if you were to remove the second electron and there's another term we can refer to, which is successive ionization energies, successive ionization energies. And I'll go into this in a, in a different video. I won't go into this too much in this video successive ionization energies and this is after we've taken away this first electron the second the third the fourth the fifth the sixth those are the successive ionization energies anyway so the first ionization energy which we looked at just now the definition for this first of all the units the the way we um quantify the ionization energy is we look at the energy and energy is measured in um newtons Kilograms? No, no, no. I'm joking. It's not measured in any of those. Energy is measured in joules. And 
for the ionization energy we actually measure measure it in kilojoules so kg kj kilojoules and the way we compare this the way we quantify the ionization energy is we think okay we can't just say this is the ionization energy it needs to be per something per some sort of amount of substance and the amount of substance obviously which we use as units is the mole so the way we quantify ionization energy is we say kilojoules per mole so kilojoules per mole so this is the units for ionization energy most of the time kilojoules per mole and so the first ionization energy bearing this in mind and bearing in mind the fact that it's gaseous the first ionization energy is defined as the energy required the energy required to remove pay attention to what we're actually um doing here um we're removing an electron so the energy required to remove one electron and the wording of this definition is kind of tricky but here's how it goes the energy required to remove one electron from each atom it's sort of a logical process i guess from each atom so we're removing each each atom we're only removing one electron so we need to specify that in the de definition the energy required to remove one electron from each uh, each atom in one mole remember we i said that we're using the units of moles from 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 each atom in one mole of gaseous atoms of gaseous atoms so we're specifying that the atoms are gaseous for, of gaseous atoms to form one mole so as you can see in the equation above the relation the um, molar ratio here is one mole of oxygen from one mole of um, oxygen ion so we, we specify this in the definition the energy required from one to remove one electron from each atom in one mole of gaseous atoms to form one mole of gaseous and we specify we need to specify the charge gaseous one plus ions and make we need to make sure that we say ions and not atoms since they're now ions they now have a charge gaseous one plus ions and this would be the the overall definition of it so key points i guess would be the energy required and it's one electron and it's from each atom and there's gaseous, gaseous ions and it's yeah one more and um gaseous one plus ions so yeah this is this is basically the general idea of um ionization energy so if the ionization energy was lower per mole so the energy was lower per mole that means that it's going to be easier to remove an electron from um one mole of gaseous atom ion at gaseous atom since since we need less energy so it's going to be easier and i'll go into what can affect that in the next video so I hope this was helpful and yeah, see you next, see you in the next video.